Welcome to our Music Theory Made Easy video training course. In the last video, we covered the note and rest values. In this video, we will cover the most used music symbols. A clef is a musical symbol used to indicate the pitch of the written notes. A treble clef covers the high notes above middle C. A bass clef covers the low notes below middle C. For beginner piano students, treble clef means to use the right hand and bass clef means to use the left hand. A repeat sign may be found in the middle of the piece or at the end of the piece. If there is only one repeat sign in the piece, we repeat from the beginning and play everything again. However, if there are two repeat signs in the piece, we need to repeat between the two repeat signs and not from the beginning. Here are two examples on how the treble clef, bass clef and repeat sign are used in sheet music. The treble and bass clef are at the beginning of the piece. The repeat sign is at the end of the piece. When we order pizza, the pizza is cut up into equal pieces, so it's easier for us to eat. So in music, for us to be able to read the music easily, we need to divide the music into equal bars with bar lines. Each bar will have the same number of counts. When learning a new language, we need to learn the punctuation and grammar. Music is a language, an international language. We can use anywhere in the world. No matter what language we speak, musicians can read the same sheet music and play music together. A double bar line is used to show the end of a music piece, just like how we use full stops in a sentence. Here is an example of how bar lines and a double bar line is used in sheet music. Many music symbols are in Italian because many of the composers from a long time ago were Italian. So let's learn our first Italian word. The dynamic sign P, piano, means to play soft. The dynamic sign F, Forte means to play loud. Here is an example of how piano and forte are used in sheet music. When a dynamic is written in the first bar, it means to stay in this dynamic until there is a new dynamic shown for us to change to. The dynamic sign MF, mezzo forte means to play moderately loud. The dynamic sign MP, mezzo piano, means to play moderately soft. Here is a summary of the dynamics we have learnt so far. Piano, forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano. In music, Dynamics means how loud or soft music is. The more dynamic contrast there is in a piece, the better the piece will sound. Here's a new dynamic to learn. Crescendo, meaning gradually becoming louder. Decrescendo, gradually becoming softer. When there is a crescendo, we need to play each note gradually louder one after another. Here is an example on how to show the two crescendos clearly. When there is a decrescendo, we need to play each note gradually softer, one after another. Here is an example on how to show the two decrescendos clearly. A 
Masticato means to play short and detached. It's shown by a dot over or under a note. A tied note is shown by a curved line that joins two notes of the same pitch. Play the first note and hold the second note for its time value. Here is an example of what staccato sounds like. Here is an example of what tied notes sound like. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So we just play the first note of the tie and we hold the second note for its time value. Here is a summary of all the dynamics we have learnt so far. Piano, forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, crescendo and decrescendo. An interval is the distance between two notes. On the piano, a second interval moves from one key to the next. An accent means to play the note more emphasised and it's shown by a small arrow above or below the note. Affirmata looks like a rainbow sign. It means to hold the note longer than its value. Here is an example of what accents and fermata sound like. When an ottava is written above the notes, it means to play eight notes higher. When an ottava is written below the notes, it means to play eight notes lower. Here is an example on how to show the music needs to be played eight notes higher. Here is an example on how to show the music needs to be played eight notes lower. The Italian word ritardando means gradually becoming slower. Ritardando can be shortened to rit or ritard. Music is written on five lines and four spaces, called the staff. When we run out of lines, we need to add extra lines. These extra lines added are called ledger lines. When we look at sheet music, some notes have their stems up and some have their stems down. The stem goes up on the right side of the note and the stem goes down on the left side of the note. Here is a tip for you to remember which side the stem should go on. When the stem goes down, it looks like the letter P. When the stem goes up, it looks like the letter D. So how do we know when the stems should go up or down. If the note is on the middle line of the staff, the stem can go up or down. If the note is above the middle line, the stem will come down. If the note is below the middle line, the stem will go up. A slur is a curved line which joins two or more notes. A slur means to play legato, smoothly and well connected. So for example, we would join all the notes together smoothly like this. Oh. Here is an example of how slurs are used in sheet music. A slur can join two notes of different pitch or it can join two or more notes of different pitches. 
Harmonic intervals and chords are where we play two or more notes down at the same time. Here is an example of how chords are written in sheet music. And this is how it sounds. We have just covered the most used music symbols. In the next video, we will cover time signatures and rhythms. Our series of piano books are a collection of teaching methods and strategies I've developed for students over 20 years of teaching and performing. Our three books are suitable for beginner piano students who are interested in learning for leisure or exams online. Book one is an easy to follow piano method book. Book two is a guide to mastering piano technique. Book three, Piano Debut, is the guide to preparing for solo performances, duets, exams, and group performances. Download a free copy of the book today from our website and join us in our upcoming video tutorials where I will take you on a journey through the world of music performance. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.